uh, gaming was never an option. Okay, Cyberpunk Girls. Let's uh, go. <laughs> uh -huh, wow, okay. <laughs> Settings. English, Russian, and nothing. <laughs> okay, so this is a Russian game. I can already confirm this. This is opposite of what you expected. I think we all expected something opposite of this. Huh? Why would you need enter your sync for like 2D pictures? V-Sync on and off. Yeah, we need V-Sync for this game. Shadow resolution extreme. Shadows enabled. Shadow cascade times four. Textures extreme. Soft particles. Soft particles define soft. Also, why is her lipstick slightly smeared? Is that an is that an Xbox controller? In the future of Cyberpunk, you wear stockings in your home while Bitcoin farming, because graphic cards have no other purpose. With a broken hand, people still use the Xbox controller. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why is her lipstick smeared? Also, I like how the jacket doesn't move with the physics. Also, thank you so much for uh, not having voice acting in this game. I like how in look. I like her entire face. Her entire face just goes up and down. <laughs> Uh, Sarah, wake up, warrior. Your time has come. Who are you? Where am I? You're asking too many questions. I'll explain everything. But uh, now I have to hurry before they found out that you're in the system. Why do you look like an old woman? Why, the, why are you holding Xbox controllers? Can you talk like an old person? You're speaking in riddles. You're gonna lock the door before someone sees this. Please do. I already said you're asking too many questions at once. The only thing that's actually important right now is, is how we're going to get out of here. If we don't make it out in time, we're going to have problems. I'm not going anywhere with you. W who the hell are you, Elsa? Wow, Elsa fell on hard times in the future. You're stubborn, aren't you? Eh, what do you expect? I'm sorry, you created me. My goal is to help you fix this city. I created you. How? Why don't I remember that? Because five years have passed since we last saw each other. You have changed a lot since then, you know, I'm not surprised you don't remember me, uh, but now you have to believe me. I'm probably to follow your plan in directive, and one of the first tasks in my code is getting us out of here as quickly as possible. We need to lay low. You are in the op, op lot now, in the very heart of the city, we need to get out of here before the system recognizes and tries to capture us. Why do you write the code that can't even influence you enough to save you? I have no idea what you're talking about, but alright, I'll come with you. I'll just wait, try to explain everything, uh, and please use a language I can, I can comprehend. Comparent. <laughs> if I start to doubt you for a moment, you'll be the one to blame for consequences. That's great. So you don't remember how the hell you how the hell you are, but you remember how how to hold a gun. You definitely got your priorities straight. You sound like you actually know me, but you don't. I'd love to take you more uh, take me more seriously because you literally recreated yourself when making me. Every sound I make, every gesture is literally who you are. What? You must either have an inferiority complex or a god complex, don't you? By the way, it's not me only, right? The, the game is silent. I'm not hearing anything. That does sound like me. <laughs> Mission objective. Pass the rooftops. Click to start. That is me? <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh, um. Every time I jump, my rifle flies away from my hand. What? I like how entire body doesn't move with a rifle. Well, the rifle doesn't move. It looks like a model from a mobile game. I wish. I'm sorry, why is there wood in cyberpunk? Is this? Okay, this is not at all what I expected from anything. How do I reload? Oh, I can't reload. Uh, okay, I could fire above it. I, I can't fire now? Why, 
Why do I sound like a kid? No, a med kit. There are, there are first aid kits on levels. They'll help you survive. I'm sorry, the enemies have life bars now. Also, they do a lot of damage. <laughs> Why, of course, just... <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh no, I got punked. Past the rooftops. Can I just speedrun this? Are, are you still shooting at me? Don't drop me off! <laughs> no, don't try to connect to the internet, cyberpunk girls! I'm sorry, cyberpunk girl just uh, asked me if it could connect to the internet. Maybe it's a bit heavy on the post-processing and particle effects. Oh yeah, you're right, just a little. Just a little bit, you know, not too much. Uh, you know, just a slight chromatic aberration when I jump and I get shot at. Wow, the game really doesn't have any music, huh? The developer couldn't find a single song to put in the game. Also, why is there like an extended skin color on my chin? What is that? All right, I'm waiting. No, I'm demanding an explanation. What the hell just happened to us? What is this? Yes. <laughs> uh, by the way, I like how exit to main menu the no is in red. Even the developer is like, select select the non-dangerous color because there is nothing in this game except really bad artwork. Where should I begin? Why are they trying to kill me? If I already did create you, then you must have foreseen this moment. So please do your job, robot lady. That sounds extremely racist. Considering where we are now. I'm your creation after all. You were a terrible mother, by the way. I can imagine. Now tell me what's going on. Lots of things. All you need to know for, for now is that our goal is to destroy the upload. I can't remember what our motivation was, but that was your idea to begin with. So maybe you could remember how it all started. By the way, I like how this is what the artwork looks like. And then in the game, it's like just one of those default Unity low polygon assets that like you see in TV shows being used. By the way, what's the background? Where, where do you think they got the background from? That's a screenshot. Is it from Cyberpunk? Can't remember anything. I feel like I'm in a movie where the main character, character Ted, had amnesia and now has to deal with the consequences of his own action that he calls back when he has memory. He memory was fine. God, they, God, there's also spelling mistakes. It's a visual novel with like 30 seconds of gameplay and they didn't even spell check. Not the best situation to say the least. What's Oplot like? Oplot is a megapolis. It's huge and violent jungle. Even children carry weapons in this city. Oh, so Brazil. Headhunting is the game to them. It's even more popular than soccer. The city is basically owned by Yomoto Kawashi, whose ancestry Takeshi Kawashi founded the city, a dynasty. You're going to get to Takashi and stop him. Sounds easy, doesn't it? It really isn't, though. His guard has more weapons than weapons that old bandits in older republics combined. Huh? Uh, he's a monster and his castle is fitting the title. Wow, good job Elsa from the past. Worked everything out so well. Go to the castle, kill the dragon, take the princess. Sounds easy enough, but the princess is me. What? Don't get me started. What was your plan? I'm just here to tell you about it. Alright, what else do I need to know besides having to kill someone named Takeshi? You don't like this, but it was your idea. I will make suggestions and throw new tasks at you as you go. Can't reveal everything right away. Just like that? Oh, that's wonderful. Let's get moving. Can you tell me where we're going? Unfortunately, we don't have the time for that. Someone just sent out your photo and they're always looking for you. Get your weapon out. So you're not gonna tell me what we're, where I need to go in a mission? Okay, Russia? I know you're having a very difficult time, but you know, choose. Either get rid of Putin or don't make games. You can't have both. This weapon? <laughs> yeah, the, the Xbox controller. Oh, would you like to know the bounty on your head? I'm not up for sale. What is this terrible artwork? Just look at her face! Funny, would you though? I can tell you really want to tell me that. I must have been a very cocky person when I created you. 45 million credits, that's how much you cost. Is that a lot? You live in this world! How do you not know anything? Not enough. That sounds good enough to me. Get to the end of the house. Oh, this is Hotline Miami by Bidiot. 
Yeah, a shotgun does less damage. I like how the... Actually, can I... I like this random loading screen that has no purpose, essentially. Okay, how can I lower anything? Soft particles off, real-time reflections off. Okay, will this work? Really? You fast forward through the text? You don't have a skip text function? Slightly better? I don't think you can tell. You know, no offense, Cholo, but this game should be dropping frames in any capacity. Just, there's so many particles that the game actually will drop frames. You know, if, if you want to test out your OBS settings to see how far you can, you can push the encoder, this is the perfect game. Just add some grain on it and just go around spamming everything with all the settings scaled up and let's see how, how far encoders will go. On OBS, they'll die. Oh my god! This is a visual novel with nothing to it, bad spelling mistakes, and bad artwork. That was awful. There are too many of them, and they all wanted one thing. Yeah, we can see what they are. But they still don't explain what they're trying to hunt me down. You didn't explain anything. I'm just trying to keep it fun. It isn't more fun to fight them off without knowing the reason why they keep attacking you. <laughs> no! I don't think you should ever say that to a woman. Just saying. You're trouble. Do you get that from me as well? Something like that. I think Takeshi ordered to get you killed. They must have found out what you were. Obviously, I wasn't happy to hear that. Why is Takeshi my problem at all? Why do I suddenly have to limit the most important person in the city? Oh, right click brings down the text for the fantastic artwork. Those, those. I'm sorry. Why is her belt so tight around her ass? I have no idea, but the feelings are mutual. What do people in the streets say? The group was definitely not the one to have been sent out. It would be nice to know where they're trying to find me and to ensure we don't step foot there. Let me check out city cameras then. I can see them. There's one large group walking down the 4th street and one on the 6th. Then there are two small groups looking on the 11th, 7th and 15th. Which streets are we on now? The 8th, the group close to us is about 5 minutes away depending on how fast we can run. Either way, one of the groups will eventually find us. Why? We can try to hide. I doubt that's going to help. Let's do this then. Give them the safest route to Takeshi's tower. I sent you a visual implant. You can view it at any time. I have that. Why do you sound... Why do you look like an old person? Don't you see it? Mother of God, what else do I have that I don't know about? You find out, I have no idea. What? <laughs> Alright, we'll see as we go. I can keep the best route lies in the 5th street. They are pretty well armed. I know a couple of tricks. What are you talking about? The street layout. There are many blind spots. They got automatic weapons, semi-automatic weapons. Shooting those may be dangerous in narrow streets like that. You're risking to shoot your mates and yourself in the bullet ricochet. Too bad the game doesn't have any of that in the gameplay. Okay. Oh, wait, what was my objective? Past the rooftops. Oh, well, definitely not here. Oh, that's supposed to be me in the loading screen! There's two of me? I like the pointlessness of everything! Just like in Russia! Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Uh, don't tell me... Oh, you can fall! Have a really awkward diagonal! Oh, it's the Blade Runner car, except it isn't. How is this even possible? What? You can't remember a thing, but you're pretty weapon like you're born with it. Is that is that mu your muscle memory or your code kicking in? I'd love to answer that question, but uh, so far you can... Uh, no way more than I do. Both about the, the shit that's going around us. Those guys called me Fury. Why is that? Who called you? That's your nickname. That's how most of them identify you. Your real name has no weight around here. And while those who call you Fury exist, some will always be trying to hunt you down. Is that in my bio too? Yes. You crossed some serious people and now they all want you to, to eliminate you. The goal, my dear, is not to find all the answers, but to cut their throat before they cut yours. Do your job and don't think so much. How clever. I guess there's some wisdom in it. All right, let's keep on going. 
Yeah, that's a developer saying, don't think about this game. It's kind of weird, but deep inside, I really enjoy it. It's nice to hear gunshots and see my enemies drop dead on the ground. I think I really know what I'm doing. Almost like I'm born to this. We all... Why? Why do indie games have to repeat text like this, man? When you begin to enjoy seeing that, you're doing everything right. We have problems. Was everything normal before I made the statement, though? What's a norm in your world, then? A nuclear apocalypse? I just can't keep up with your train of thought, says the old-looking woman. There's bigger fish to ru to uh, bigger fish in the sea now. That's something you say for dating, not for killing. Their leader is also on the streets now, and he's not the one to mess with. Clearly, we need to send the guy back to whatever hell he came from. Too early. I have to observe him for a little bit to get a better understanding of what he's capable of. I know who you're talking about. Looks like a freak, although I don't know who isn't in the city. Walk to the streets to the end. Is that a machine gun? It is. How are you not hitting them? Oh, I like how every time I shoot the gun, I slightly go backwards. <laughs> oh my god, it's another one of these games. Are you ready to strike? Absolutely. Now I see their leader is a freaking clown. It's gonna make things a lot easier. He doesn't take advantage of his weapon moves like he's nervous. I don't even think I can have to openly confront him. I might just be able to sneak up on him and take him out quietly. Can you tell me what happened to this place? Far away from the city looks amazing. The lights, the billboards. But once you take a closer look, you can't unsee all the dirt and streets. Oh, she's crying for her city! Oh, how adorable this stupid cunt is crying for her stupid city! What exactly would you like me to explain? Every megapolis looks like this nowadays. The rich see the beauty from above and the poor are stuck down here in the dirt of the streets. Okay, dear developer. Like, 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 I don't understand what you expect. Cars drive. Cars are dirty. Roads are dirty. Trash is dirty. Unless you live in an utopia where you're paying every single guy who picks up rubbish, you know, and cleans roads like a hundred thousand dollars every month with the inflation. Like, you're gonna, like, I, I don't understand what they're trying to say. I really don't. I hate it when people do this. They try to sound smart there, but they're just fucking cunts. I thought to remember this, but the city used to be one huge weapon in arms factory. They produce just about everything, starting with ammo and ending with miss Miscals. Miscals. MUSCLE MISSILES! MISCLES! That eventually were used to attack other colonies, those colonies on Mars. Oh my god! SHOW DON'T TELL! The developer had the entire story here, and they couldn't make ends meet. Because, uh, this was released when Putin decided to put them into war. As you may have understood already, the factory was ran by the eldest, Kavashi. It was until he passed away, his younger son took over after that until he met his untimely death only a year later. It's almost obviously Takeshi killed him, but people don't like about it. I go as far as thinking about old Kaveshi was also killed. He was a feisty old man, was gonna make it to a hundred at least. In the future, people only live to the age of a hundred? Considering what kind of doctors took care of him, all that remained inside him from his old human body was his brain. Everything else was replaced with artificial parts. How can one die when technically his body passed a long time ago? Huh? So like Takeshi deserves to die. Why am I supposed to get to be executioner? Takeshi is your McGaff McGaffin? Okay. First of all, A is called McGuffin, not McGaffin. I don't know if this is the correct spelling, but I'm gonna assume it's not. Secondly, the magical McGuffin is something like you have to travel around the world. Collect the seven Chaos Emeralds to defeat the final boss. McGuffin isn't the final boss himself. It's the road to the final boss with the items that you pick up against the final boss. The things that you need to complete the adventure. Like the seven seeds, the seven Chaos Emeralds, the seven Power Stones. It's not the final boss himself. Your head costs a lot. Your head costs a lot, but his head is even more pricey. Okay, now we're giving free blowjobs! Do I need money though? I don't think so. Of course you don't need money. What they're looking for is fame. Let's deal with the leader, then we'll talk about it. Seems as though you might be ready for to face everything I'm about to tell you. Walk the streets to the end. With a clash involved.
You forgot I exist. Oh, see, this is smart game. They knew that they had no gameplay. Also, I like how the player has to pick up the weapon every time. How are my bullets not hitting? My bullets are actively not hitting you! My bullets half of the time are actively not hitting them. Huh? I'm gaining points by shooting the buildings? What? 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 Explain to me how that works. Oh, see, control burst because apparently if you shoot too many... I'm sorry, did they block off the road with a... How are you not getting hit? My accuracy is that bad. How, how are you not hitting them? Huh? My eyes! Yeah, hi. I have the higher ground? Oh my god, I can't shoot from the higher ground. Uh, hi, can you die? <laughs> really? There's some... Guys hidden in the darkness like that? What were they molded by it as well? I. What? Oh, come on. I so clearly touched that. Okay, real question. Why was this game even published? I don't understand. Like, what was the societal benefit of publishing this game? I mean, uh, like, did the developer even make money? That's what I don't know. I'm pretty sure they didn't. So I don't know what they, they spent. They spent a hundred dollars just publishing this game and I'm pretty sure they didn't even make back the difference. I like how the art style is also very bad. It looks like there's three different girls that got hit on the face with three different baseball bats by three different people in three different countries. Do you think enough people got killed at this point to get you start talking? You heard it yourself, Furia, be patient. Fury, not Furia. That's such a patient thing to do, killing a whole bunch of bandits without having an idea what I'm doing, although I'm starting to suspect. Are you trying to find answers? Looking for that truth? Walk past a dozen of corpses, just find out that your truth isn't even real. Careful, Elsa. I'm supposed to know who you are. Who the hell are you? Stay where you are or I'll be... F uh, or I'll finish you too. <laughs> yeah, I know, you're very imp impulsive. You make decisions and follow through before you gave yourself enough time to think about it. But right now, I'd have to have a conversation with you. You might talk about it anymore. We will talk about you. You're a start figure. Yeah, all eyes on you. Just give a few minutes to your biggest fan, won't you? Why are they holding controllers? I don't understand that part. Also, I like how everybody is wearing... Is not wearing. They're not wearing much. They're holding PlayStation controllers except me. Even that's true. Don't forget I'll not hesitate to put a bullet to your head if you do something stupid. You're in the game. I can tell you in a hurry. So I'll start with the most important part. Don't let me explain things to you now. Don't. You don't. Really think that any of this is real, do you? I'll see around in millions of zo ones and zeros dancing around, sw 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 switching uh, places to create this reality for you. But to you, it looks like you're fighting off dozens of enemies all alone. Welcome to new reality. How did this happen? You hacked the system, but you'll discuss one thing at a time. You told me yourself that you'll tell me all the most important stuff now. Shush, you're being boring now. You immerse yourself in the amusement park and now you're asking others to distract you from all the fun you're having here. What? Just relax and have fun. You're going to be here a while, and that doesn't matter anyway, because you're shooting cardboard targets. Let me see what you're capable of. Get to the end of the house. Oh, come on, I can go away, simp. Okay, let me press continue just in case the game does something weird with me. Okay. The developer, being the absolute cholo that they are, so I'm gonna guess this is gonna be 8, 9, 10. 10 missions, okay? So the developer has a lot of text dialogue with no voice acting that you need to get through. Uh, which is fine, except, you know, you need to either have gameplay or story or whatever. 
So the developer not understanding what to do with their life. Except putting deformed drawn girls. Because that is all they could accomplish with their life choices. They have 10, 20, 30. 30 story moments. And already at the 7th one. The story is losing the plot because there's so much story to fill out. This is that type of game, so take it what you will for. You won't get away from me. Who told you I'm trying to get away? I'm just trying to make sure you're ready for the next one to join us. What are you? What about Takeshi? He's boring. On top of that, he died an hour ago. Don't thank me. Wait, what? You killed him? But yes, please don't get started with this whole destiny thing. I killed him. He's lying in a puddle of his own blood at the bottom floor of his mansion. He wasn't an unnecessary part of his equation. I don't even know why you want to get rid of him, Furia. But none, there is no reason to worry about him, and you don't have to thank me. I wonder what other players are going to think about this. I wasn't the one who killed him. Here's the thing, you were. Isn't that wonderful? Let me start from the beginning, though. You already know you're Furia. You're the most vicious player in this game has ever seen. You poured your soul into this game. We're fully invested. I'm tired of talking already. Your money and time, your mental hell, hell ja. Everything went into it. You should have went out on a date with someone, I swear to God. What? At some point, you became so powerful that the algorithm decided to limit your abilities. You are not who you used to be. Everyone was scared of you back in the day, but now I can see how pathetic you really are. And this is how I deserve to be, you know? Your tricks will no longer work around here. These aren't just empty worlds. I made you go into that battle for a reason. I want to see it for myself. I want to see you fail for a long time. I want to witness you lose everything because of your superiority complex. I love watching you struggle now. And this is how it's going to end. I will leave. The, the Peter uh, 2 will come. They will tell you the same thing. Not alone. Who else is with you? You, it's just you twice. I don't understand. That means you don't understand yourself. I just want to deal with myself. I want to kick you off the pedestal that you built for yourself. But from what I see now, there's no need for that. You have already been destroyed and this is worse than death. You're exactly where you deserve to be. Why are you talking like it was a part of his script all along? <laughs> the, dev the developer... Realized... How much they're pissing off the player. They realize that. So they decide to give them in this section the shotgun. So the player doesn't immediately ask for a refund on the game. In less than 10 minutes. Wow, I have never played such a low quality game in my life. And why does she do that? Who, Sarah? Because this is software that I wrote, according to her at least, I made her to resemble myself. She's not that good of a software, she only has one function. That's quite hurtful, but I understand. Continue. Keep your mouth shut when I'm talking. Anyways, she was great to help you along the way. What? I am here to be your enemy, I'm not alone. You have your chance to meet the others, but I don't let to disgrace just yet. You'll play with me for now, I'll hate to be the first one to go to battle, but it wasn't my first choice. I will see you very soon. Lots of work to do. She just disappears, that's so basic. Disappears. Do you have anything to tell me? Lots of things. I can't keep quiet anymore. They were watching you. They watched you since the day you made it to the top three of the game charts. So, I mean, just in a virtual reality? Is that the story? Also, I like how both girls blink at the same time. Synchronized blinking. Then, when you became first, uh, people started to worry. That wasn't supposed to happen. You're breaking the system. They don't like that. Other sales is though you're limiting their progress. Think about it. So people are trying to kill me in VR because I'm too good of a gamer. Oh my god, what is this text? You're in a game that has lots of bosses. They can be defeated though. But besides bosses, besides PvE, there is PvP. You're the boss that when it came to PvP. You may not remember those days when they gathered in large groups and hunted you down in an effort to defeat you. It never worked. You're basically going through the whole thing all over again. That's ridiculous. Why did I have to need to erase my own memory just to experience this all over again? But you have the opportunity to return everything back to normal. We don't have much time, though. Your simulation will collapse very soon. You need to act quickly. As soon as they capture you, you receive permanent ban. What? What? Sounds like I really messed up. I guess I don't have a choice. Let's try to find the truth of whatever it is that we have to do. I hate myself. A large group is approaching us. I'll get tired of this very soon. The people who made this game can't even ban a single player? Is that the developer literally saying their abilities to make games? Is that limited? Can you stop shaking my screen, motherfucker? You always know where I am, huh? Oh, fantastic. I triggered two dildos in here. 
No! I'm sorry, your boyfriend sh shot you, so you became triggered on me? Yeah, hi? I like how you can hit the floor. Oh, in case you're wondering, yeah, this is... Why do you keep on jumping? In case you're wondering, yeah, this is just like first... This is literally a first-person game. Because when I bring my weapon near a wall, my weapon goes back inside me, essentially, and I can't shoot. Figure out why the developer was that fucking lazy. Huh? I have to be on level with them. And I don't mean that in an emotional way. Something else, there's a high chance that all these other versions of you will have a permanent mark on the game. It might turn into phantoms with an F, eventually leading them to become small glitches in the code. Somehow you flipped over a wasp nest, it'll be noisy for a while. Wait a second. Maybe I'm not understanding you right. Is Esther just another version of me? Smart girl. Great, and there's two more of them according to her. Can't even just imagine the other two are like. You got two main enemies at the moment. One of them is another version of you, and the other is the game itself, which views you as a virus. You don't belong here, and the game will do anything to get rid of you. So you have to be very careful. It's called just banning a person. As for the other version of you, there's slowly your problem and your responsibility. You know, I'm just gonna say this. Cyberpunk games, or should I say sci-fi games that always make that thing where like the the user is in the game and doing stuff and nobody can touch them. I just need to make clear that is always impossible because there is no way someone would ever develop a game where the original authors don't have a hundred percent control on everything. Not only that. But guess what? They can just shut down the servers and get rid of you. I mean, really now. Which means that very soon they'll become a real pain in the ass. We have to hurry. I guess the situation is getting worse by a minute and I'd even laugh, but I have no energy left. Just like me, it's saying all this text. We shall see what is the last laugh. Isn't that what people say? Yes. Uh, tell me to get rid of those others, including those cycles. There's only one way and it consists of two steps. First, you have to hack and uh, find and hack the terminal. There are lots of those all seated, and find them and eliminate them. Wonderful, now I have to hack things too. Not going to be your first rodeo. As it turns out, where did I even acquire this kind of knowledge? I know now so much about this place, but I still remember very little about the real me. Can't help with that. Then I'll ask our mutual friend this question. Just go get to her first. I mean, what is even this? Are we... Like, if we're in VR, why would it be in night time? You know... When I play too many indie games like this, I'm honestly pro... Pro everything to, like, not have children. Pro abortions and mamortions. Children are a mistake. <coughs> Every time I synchronize with the system itself, once you have hacked it, the game will have immediate reaction. I'm not trying to say the game is like a living organism. However, it's extremely sensitive to any minor breach of security. If you decide to hack these terminals, they need to be really... Be really... For what comes after. I'm not sure what you did, but for some reason every time you mess with the system, the game itself isn't the first to find out about it, but other versions of you are. Which makes it extremely easy for them to, to know where you are at all times. Could be that you knew you were going to go through this and set this trap up for them back when you had the power. If this is a trap, then why would they come here? Interesting. I wonder how many other things I was able to set up before I was kicked. We shall see. Would you look at that? Look at what? Did you destroy... Why did you destroy the terminal? I missed you, that's all. You joking? I don't find it so funny, although I'm in a good mood, in case you're going to ask. You got complex, birthed the worst demons you could even think of. You got so bored of being the powerful player that you decided to be that fighting yourself was going to finally be challenging enough for you. Is that so? Don't you think there are players in this game who are way better than you? Why do you forsake the reality for this? You don't have to answer that, that really. Nothing is going to change how pathetic you are right now. How did you even get here? We started off so well, and all of a sudden you're cursing the day I was born. Shut the fuck up! That's in my code. My job is to hate you. It's not my fault, and that isn't why you're all here now, is it? I pretend I actually have to put some effort into this battle, right? <laughs> ah, excellent! The awkward angle! That's not at a 45 degree! A game that released exclusively on PC! Do you think the developer is one of those people who is like, this game plays best with a fucking controller? Are you kidding me? Why was the boss easier? Oh, for
fantastic days more girls wow and they're all i i like how the fourth girl looks like she was literally drawn by someone else even diff you know what i think happened i think the developer literally they literally asked people to draw artwork for them for free and this is what happened and i bet they didn't even pay people because this is how they got around paying them i guess in the end thank you for creating me i don't even know what to say Tell me that it wasn't for nothing. Tell me that my existence may not something. Oh, mentats. But goodbye, Elsa. Remember that you have to finish what you started. You need to remember that you're trapped in here too and not be able to come back until you beat the last boss. It's like the system got this close to you though. You'll have fun for sure. Esther did a great job. Now we shall see if you can beat me. Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm here to return the last minutes of your pathetic life into hell. And she has a... What kind of controller is that? I don't think Esther had time to tell you this, but if you die in the simulation, you just won't die in the real world. You turn to a vegetable. You'll breathe and shit, but you'll be, but will forever be a prisoner of your, on your, of your own bed. Is she crying again? It must be freaking insane, my friend. But who am I to judge? It's basically seems just like Esther and this Sarah, right? Yes, it's Sarah. Just like Esther and Sarah, I'm just another version of you. Let's talk about you for a second. Not a player you, but a person you. What made you come here now? What pushed you to make the careless decision? It must be greed! It must have been what you felt when you are working on my code! I have a game for you, I think you know the rules. I'll create a problem for you, bring another player into this, I doubt you met any of them. I see no difference between real people and NPCs. They're that sad, there are a lot of real players who have a bone to pick with you. I can't think of one guy who just cannot wait to see you. I can't wait to bring him in, you'll, you'll see him very soon. Hack the terminal if you need me. Huh? What? What the hell was that about? Am I really that annoying? I guess you are, let's talk about something else now. That guy wants to meet me, do you know what who she's talking about? Of course I do, he's been looking for you for a long time, he's got a weird nickname too, Joker. Joker? Mother of God, that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Even heard. Okay, dear developer of this game, can you shut the fuck up? The jo- uh, You can tell the developer himself, like, you know, he hates fucking Batman and other DC stuff, and he's like, Oh, Joker, what a terrible name, oh. I'm gonna put it as a tongue-in-cheek joke in my game that I made with, with free stuff that they don't pay anyone for. And I'm gonna make fun of the word Joker. How come? That's why video games excite people. You can become whoever you want, someone that can be in real life. That's not what they worry about right now. You and this Joker used to be colleagues. You start off in the same clan. When others started to notice your growth, another team reached out to you. They were looking for a talented rookie, a fresh face for the group. They chose you and you immediately agreed to join. Very soon you led their team. They weren't doing too bad to begin with, but you helped them discover new opportunities. You gave them so much potential for growth. It's just a fucking game. You're not discovering seven kinds of cure to cancer. Everyone was happy, except the Joker. He was the leader of your clan. He got paranoid, thought you were going to try and take his place. But if I joined another clan, who the fuck cares? Now I'm not sure if he was right or he made it all up, but the thing is, he decided to get rid of you. He started to spread rumors. He knew that a single soul would, could eliminate you, and the only way to get kicked off was to sound... Convincing enough when he talked about your crimes. That plan actually failed and ended up getting and he ended up getting kicked. He refused to take his place, some other guy did, so he politely asked to leave because he was starting to go crazy as well. Uh Joker joined a different clan, seems like he's been waiting for the right moment to get his revenge, so they could be the lucky day. I'm very happy for him. But let's be honest, even with that guy is just not what you want to do get involved in today. What does he look like? Where do we find him? Don't worry, we'll find him himself. That's his style. He attacks at the worst time for the from the back. Just like anal. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, fantastic! Enemies are two shots now. Yeah, where is exit? Get through the door, you tot! The developer just put the collision pixels one-to-one -one on the door. I love the logic in that. You know, these are the type of games that clearly have the accuracy in body movement to have that in their games. I feel like I need to apologize everyone watching this stream and tell them, you know what, I'll pay for your eye surgery at this point. So, by the way, what happens if I run out of ammo? I mean, why even have the ammo system if, like, it's, you know, I mean, I didn't play Hotline Miami. But I, 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 I know the basic ideas behind it. So like, I mean, I mean, what, what's even the point then?
I'm sorry. The red damage screen overwrites everything? I got very lucky that I knew where to press continue. Alright, tell me this if you can. How does this game even work? Is this a regular shooter or are there some other little details that you may find useful? Does it have exploits? Great question. Those who this in this game, we just gotta know where to look for them. There aren't many active exploits in the game. Because the system ended up finding and fixing them. This is the... Oh my god! The developer thinks so highly of themselves for creating what is essentially just a bad game. Let us sing it for a minute. The developer thinks of them as hot shit. They're like, yeah, there are no exploits in the game, such as you can jump or whatever. Well, basically, what the developer is saying is they made a game that's so unfun by removing every single element out of it. That happens because many players were using those to cheat. The economy is terrible in this game, but this isn't going to change much, much to you. Speaking of exploits bug, and try to find something that allows us to travel faster. That may help a lot, especially since many people are busy looking for you at the moment. Great, connect me to that local chat as well. I want to see what they're talking about here. You think someone's going to discuss the search mission there? I doubt it. On top of that, I'm constantly scanning for keywords. Just lose your mind from the amount of voices. It can make you pass out for a moment. It may also affect your speed. Every move you make is a new command in your code that messages are written into your line of your code. You, we don't want you to lose this game just because someone was talking too much and couldn't make the right move on time. Yeah, okay, don't criticize streamers, dude. They're the only people playing your fucking game. You're right. You can filter the information for me then. Just search the keywords and let me listen to those messages. I want to see and hear everything. Also, let's start on an al algorithm that will find Ashley for us. I'm afraid that will not be possible. Once she's gone, she turns into other objects that the code cannot recognize. We'll have to find a terminal either way. You can send me to a lower level. It'll take some time though. I doubt it will really help you. Here's how it works. I merge with the written code and scan for every single action the game takes to prevent from doing what you're doing. Since we long like to fight Takeshi, we can take our time with another task. We need to find a device that brought me here. It must be a recording this session. I'm not sure if it'll work, but I'll try. Try what? To get out of here, I want nothing. I have nothing in common with the past me who sent me here. I've been here long enough to understand. I could even remember some of the things I used to know, but that is enough. What are you even the verbal diarying for? Unfortunately, it's not. You have to eliminate the other two versions of you. They will not let you leave. They have the ability to trap you here forever while you're slowly dying in the real world. You laid, it, you laid this pavement. And I have to walk it. It's... The English expression is you made your bed, now you sleep in it. Who the fuck says you made the pavement? A. You can't make pavement. B. It's cement. C. It's very expensive. And D. You need the proper governmental papers just to add the shed on your house. You literally need governmental papers to allow to build a plastic shed in your house. Well, not inside your house, in your garden. This is not a saying. This is some idiot who thinks they're smart, okay? And they deserve to be hit on the head. Maybe they'll learn how to make a proper game then. On top of that, your old friend is looking for you. Don't disappoint him like that. I don't have time for that. I'm not interested in dealing with some people I don't even know. I already told you, it doesn't matter what you want to do at this point. You have no other choice. I'll not speak to him. Find him and bring to me or bring him... What? Find him and bring him to me or bring me to him? It will I'll not speak. I'll just shoot him and get it over with. No one will stop me from leaving this place. But why don't you simply disconnect? I like how they keep on firing forever. Even if they don't see me. Pleasure time robot. Wow, you should be go to therapy. Uh, you decide to kill a man for no reason out of nowhere. What? What man? Those are the rules of game. I accepted the rules. I know what I need to do. Now are you going to bottom level or not? What do you need to make it work? You need to find the thermal. Once you hack it, out a small window to drop down. I sure no one is helping you. Why? Think about it. You've been here for a couple of hours. I mean, the game won't let you do what you're doing for longer than five minutes. Five months? Yeah, I can't believe that. This game has an excellent secu security system. Ooh, charcuterie. Mwah. Mm. Also. What? But you just said all that stuff like, like, I'm sorry to think there's someone out there shielding you from small attacks for the system. Oh, not, but not the big ones. I'll think about that later. Right now I'm kind of busy doing other, everything else. Like what? Tell me. Uh, damn it. Put your gun down. You will not harm me. Do you see a joker yet? I was going to write him and ask him out to a nice French cafe. Why do you care? He's important. You must see him. What is he going to tell me that's worth dropping everything and trying to locate him? I'll tell you later. Take my advice sometimes. After all, you're just talking to yourself, would you give a bad advice to yourself? Seeing the judgment in your eyes, I can tell this stupid question, but you should still listen to me, go, go to business also. Wow, this annoying speech just made me remember something from my past, I couldn't remember anything before this. Interesting, what is it? 
Da- did they ask the guy to be a prom date, but he chose a popular girl instead? Why would I remember that all of a sudden? Okay. I'm sorry. You look like that and and the guy chose the popular girl? What does the popular girl look like? That's concerning. The more you remember, the higher chance you'll fry your brain. Hurry up, your time is running out. What, Joker was the guy or something? Get to the side of the street. There is literally no other gameplay every time. Oh my god, just hit something, bitch. No wonder the guy chose the popular girl. The popular girl knows how to score, unlike you. Also, I like how apparently you can get the score by breaking stuff. Huh? How are those missing exactly? Oh, that's it. Damn it, did you know that? Honestly? Of course, honestly. Don't make me curse you out. I see you murdering hundreds of people. Do you think I'm con- uh, concerned about you cursing? I have no time for games, Sarah. No, I was not aware. It's just shocking to me as it was for you. Then why did you buy time with that text? I'm screwed. What am I supposed to do now? Stop whining and keep playing the game. Don't judge me. I'm not. I'm just trying to bring you back to reality. I'm getting tired of this. Keep yourself together. That's what I'm doing right now. What an idiot. What was I thinking about? Let me remind you that if you don't stop this, you may never think about again. You never think again in the future. Okay, what are you talking about? What just happened? That is like, did you know that? I wanted to remember everything. Now it turns out I'm not supposed to remember. What the hell? Everything else needs to calm down. Everything is under control. I have to keep going. What is what that is? Everything is going to be all right. I wouldn't start this quest if I didn't know what I was going to win. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, see, I believe the whole thing has a deeper meaning than we think. Let's go to the next term. I can't find one on the map. Want to tell me where it is? I see why Ashley wants to meet Joker. Why? I was able to read some chat message. His people have the terminal now. They hid it from the map. That's why we don't see it. Oh my god. How did he know? We'll find out soon. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. You just got lucky I was able to finish some kind of coordinates from that chat message. He might be there. Rooftops, rooftops, rooftops. The developer really loved their roof. roof, roof. Okay, not here. Like this. Although I like how I have to run towards the screen, you know? G- good game design is always about running towards the screen where you can't see anything. That's always a sign of good gameplay design. When you can't see what's on the other side of the screen. I can see him! Don't yell yell, where is he? Even though Cock is surrounding himself with his cheap guard, half of them are NPCs, won't be hard to fight them off. If he knows about the terminal, he must know about other things too, I wonder where exactly he knows. Do you think now is a good time for this conversation? I got a strange letter a couple weeks ago, it said that I should stay away. Damn, another memory coming back to me and I remember my mother's name now. I'm sorry, what? You had full total amnesia? I thought you were talking about just... What the fuck? The time is running out, can you find how long I have? I might be able to see that once I get in the system. There's another way to motivate you to fight this guy and get to the terminal. What about the letter? I don't remember all of it. It said... What did it say? Probably warned me not to do what I'm doing right now. Could have been from someone who's trying to help me. I hope it wasn't another trap. But at this point, we can only hope. I don't see how it could be a trap. Because in that case, the game could have finished you within the first couple of minutes. Huh? Why are you hiding the gun? Can I go through here? Huh. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, remind me again how the developer taught hot shit of themselves that they could literally make sure nothing was hacked. Uh huh. Oh, that's a lot of guys. I'm hacking the system! Oh, go me. Oh, I'm a real hacker, me. Mm. Am I supposed to be here? I like how they can see me immediately. Well, this wasn't a good idea, was it now? Oh, I have to go to the other side. Okay, what happens if I... Yeah, I guess there isn't enough screen shake with that. I was about to compliment the game. Well, not that the game deserves any compliments, honestly. I was gonna be like, oh, this is cute. If if uh, you can find the hexes in the game, 
you can do this. Maybe the game is a, uh, uh, is uh, you know, has a little bit of a tw not twist, but you know, something. You know, cyberpunk, hunky, uh, hacky games, you know. Oh, so, so smart. No, I think this was just a mistake. <laughs> yep, this is just a mistake. Just like the developer being born was a mistake. I'm sorry, this is how long the level is? Holy shit, are you kidding me? This is a long ass level for no reason. Like, I, there's some people who are proud of themselves, aren't they? When they make games like this. Oh, can I squeeze in by here? No, so I just wasted my time. This is the one thing this game can't really afford now, is it? Wasting the player's time. No, there's just a lot of... Uh, uh. Oomph, oomph. Oh, Sin Cola! Get it? Sin? Like Sin? The developer did not approve of Sin in this game. <sighs> Two pants, they're... Okay, honestly, I can't tell if that's intended or not. If that's a joke in the game or not. No other level had this. This is the first time. I remember what was in that letter. Someone wanted to give me a warning, told me to be careful because I was being watched, not playing the game, but in real life too. Wait a minute, one thing at a time, please. Who wrote you? Are you trying to make me remember the whole message? I guess I can do that. Then how do you remember what the message said? That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that maybe you're some kind of important details in a message, some kind of code. It must have been useful information. Hello, sir. I know what you're trying to do, but I'm asking you not to take this risk. Stop it. You're in danger. You're being watched. You might think you're the only only watching you online, but you're wrong. You cross someone very dangerous, and they'll now do anything in their power to stop you. There isn't much I can do to help you, but you need to remember the code D4400A. That's your bus size. I know you not change your mind. Just please be careful. You meet again, and I'll tell you everything then. When you join the game again, I'll be there to help you. See you soon. Something like that. I might miss a word or two. I don't think you missed anything, that code. I'm surprised your friend didn't just tell you what you might need to do that for. I guess he knew that I end up in a situation where I needed badly. Why are you saying masculine he? How do you know the person who sent the letter was a he? Maybe. I just can't imagine where unless we use it once to be back like, in the terminal. That's not very wise since we don't know what those symbols are going to do to us. That's not a symbol, that's just letters. Just remember it for now, don't do anything rash. We're talking about the letter and completely forgot about... Com Comletle, Comomlet, forgot about Joker, what happened to him? He's dead, I don't know for how long, but now he'll not bother us. It's a pity I didn't have time to find out uh, from him who gave him a tip on me. Are you crying? Huh? Why is she always crying like this? I apologize for people's eyes, okay? I will pay for your LASIK eye surgery later, I promise. All I ask is that you also uh, make a public lawsuit against the developer, <laughs> okay? If, if you guys could help me out with the money to like pay all the people watching this stream by also suing the developer, I would appreciate that a lot. This friend of yours is trying to help us, I'm calling him a friend, but I still think we need to be ca cautious. Uh, what if he really is who he is? We, we are lucky then, because our situation isn't getting any better. We could use a couple of allies. I haven't made any friends here so far, I do everything on my own. You help a lot, but you're just another version of me. Crying with white tears. We fought off Joker's people and can't take it easy for a little bit, until some other bounty hunter finds and tries to attack us, I doubt they can cause any serious issue though. I like your confidence, but don't get too cocky. Uh, where is one of the smaller neighbors? We won't see many top-level players around here. Things are to get pretty hot when we reach downtown. Well, see, I don't think we're going to be much different. I noticed that NPCs and real people take a very different approach when it comes to fighting. People can imitate NPCs, but NPCs, NPCs can't imitate how people fight. What? What if the real reason I'm here? Maybe I just wanted to know more about the fighting tactic. Too difficult. Has to be easier than that. I don't even know then. Maybe you're right. Good job, Elsa. Instead of talking to your old friend, you killed him. Such barbatic measures. Uh, what made you leave the game to begin with? I see that your amnesia helped you change your mind about it, though. Uh, don't do this anymore. You can get much more from people by just... Just boing a nice to them. Joe could have shared some more... Some useful information with you now that knowledge is lost. Well, why don't you tell me the information since you know... Or is that just your style, appearing out of nowhere, talking shit, then disappearing into thin air? You're so shallow. You're much better off shooting than you're thinking. Do, do that for now and we'll talk again later. Get to the end of the warehouse. Oh my god. Shooting enemies from position of below screen. Always good. I mean, I don't know why you simply don't have like a top-down camera, you know? 
Hotline Miami or Diablo style. Just saying. I, I don't know why so many Eastern European games, they have this feeling of like reinventing the wheel, you know? There is so many games from that part of the world that always try to reinvent the wheel for no reason. Now I can tell you what could have found out from Joker. Why you ask? I'd want to tell you that. Well, first of all, I don't know want to make you cry. And secondly, because I just saw a bunch of blood and I think you deserve a little reward. What? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Joker. They paid him good money. While others are looking for you because they want to get the prize. He was offered three times the amount. You could have found out that yourself if you didn't waste your time on useless crap. He was hired by Takeshi, but Takeshi has been dead for a couple of hours. Funny thing is, no one knows about it yet. Unless Joker thought that Takeshi was the one paying him. How is that even possible? Can the game hire one player to admit another one? Isn't it just easier to send a bunch of NPCs to kill him instead? It's logical. But what is getting hard to believe is that Takeshi out, out, the Takeshi out a bounty on your head and not someone else. Exactly. Continue. But you said that Takeshi did it, so why are you changing story now? So if we think that some other person put a bounty on Nelson's head, then how do we know that that kind of finances? I don't know such players, because there aren't any players like that, at least not the kind of players you're familiar with. I'm talking about the one that gave, gave developers. There are five of them, but only one got something against you. Is a developer making fun of the one single female artist in the entire team that didn't like drawing? Whatever the fuck these cancers deformities are. Yeah, I can I feel sorry for her. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, yeah, her boobs have a different model than everything else. So that is why the lines are breaking. How do you know this? I got lucky I evolved into my own independent code and can free travel with the system. Thanks to everything uh, thanks to you, thanks to everything you ruined. As you might have noticed, I like aggression. Aggression which was originally written to my code. I'm still in the intended to be your punching bag, though. You evolved? How is that possible? I don't know. We found out if you're so interested. For the developer's issue, let me add this. Turns out the dude who put a bounty on your head knows you very well. I guess it is my turn to ask you. How is that possible? And we're just going really back to shooting. Past the rooftops. Okay, taking bets. Is it left or right? I'm gonna go... Well, it can be actually in the front. That's what she said. Yep, yep, just... Yep, in the total darkness, that is fine. Shush. Shush! Huh? Where am I going? Oh, don't tell me I'm, like, going back down that, like, connects back to the starting area. Oh my god. I have no idea what you're talking about, at least not until you tell me what the hell those five people are. Who are they? Which five people? You'll be surprised that they're game developers. You mean the game developers? You don't know what game developers are and you're asking who the five people are? Well, I have no freaking idea. Water is wet and freedom of speech isn't real. Oh, shut the fuck up, you stupid cunt, you! Don't get offended if I say that, because you know it's the game developers. Or the game developer that is, like, having an opinion, you know, like, Oh, there's no freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is for public places in specific countries that allow that, okay? Freedom of speech, sorry, is not for everything. B... If you, have, if you have a private company, you set your own rules, not the freedom of speech. And last but not least, just because you have freedom of speech doesn't mean you're immune to consequences, okay? If I, if the developer say something stupid and I take a baseball bat, I have a right to do that. Then if the cops get me, that's a whole different situation. These fucking developers are running on Incel Core 9 here and think they're hot shit. The game was written by five people. I really doubt there. I think it was written by five testicles. Claire is the artist. Are they literally just giving the name of the people who made this game now? Four women that made the artwork and then disappeared off the face of the world. We should try and save them honestly because my god, what did the developer do to them? She created all the graphic design. She came up with every single character and every single NPC. I really doubt that. I really do. You know, just saying, a big game in real life doesn't have only five people, and this game had five different artists. She's a loner. Is rarely seen in public, kind of keeps to herself most of the time. Shut the fuck up, I don't care about your social issues. Claire isn't evo invo in involved. Yeah, I can, I can tell she's not an involved person. In all the development, and surprisingly her and the script writer don't get along. Oh, I wonder why. Probably because she's boring and has no sense of taste. 
did one of the developers just insult someone else? This is, you know, people say I'm a mean person, but this is the first time I've played a game in which the people internally in the studio were mean to each other. Speaking of him, his name is Tyler and he was the first one on the team. He came up with the idea, wrote the whole script, then he hired Claire to visualize everything. They took the idea to some big developer where it clearly got rejected. That's when a new member joined the team, Alex. He's young, rich, and charismatic, and a fucking simp. He's the one paying for the whole thing. He takes no part in the development. He just sponsors the whole thing and takes his profit. Sometimes he attends conferences and interviews, like to act like he knows what he's talking about. In reality, he's just greedy. The other two members are Dave and Hash. They write the code. Alex met them at this university, offered them good compensation, and they agreed. Uh, that's how it all started. Hey, what are you aiming at me? Do you see that, Sarah? She sounds different too. You don't give us a whole bunch of facts before. Who are you? I'm suppo I suppose I have no reason to keep pretending. Hello, Elsa. I'm Hash. I'm here to help you. Why should I believe you? Because I'm the only person who's on your side now. You can't do this alone. Do you send me the letter? Yes, but let's talk about somewhere else. Maybe once we get to the terminal. Isn't that where Sarah and you are going? Defeat the boss. Oh, who's the boss? We never got any information about who the boss we're... I can't shoot you even- I can't shoot unless I'm on the same platform as them. Man, fuck you, Hash. I hope- I hope you never get laid. And if you do, you do it by mistake, you know, like you get her pregnant by mistake. I hope your every single waking moment is just a mistake in life. I hope your parents regret it for having you. Yeah, apparently in the future electricity is so expensive, nobody wants to use lights. Oh, a med kit with a water cooler! Oh, let me shoot it. What? I can't shoot this? Why? Huh? There's a water cooler. What's the joke over there? Yep, down from screen. Down from screen, always below screen. That's <laughs> gameplay. That's gameplay. That's gameplay by a bunch of... Why? Okay, if you're gonna give that many med kits, they're just buying time. They're just buying time. I can shoot you from this direction, but I can shoot you from the other one. What? I'm out of ammo. I actually ran out of ammo. Huh? What? Are you kidding me? I ran out of ammo? How? Can I can I drop you off or something? <coughs> oh my god, can run out of ammo. I only get 200 bullets? Then what's the maximum bullet capacity of 500 for? The screen is shaking so much that my character is risking to fall off the bridge. Hi, excuse me, could you stop shaking my screen? Honestly, I hope the developers really suffered bad things in their life. Well, hopefully I'm shooting him. Am I even hitting you? Oh, wow. Okay, the rest is easy. You input the code I gave you in the letter and that's it. You slow down the protocol. You're cool, but what protocol am I trying to slow down? My bad, I'm rushing because of everything that's going on. I'm talking about the protocol that locates and eliminates the bugs and viruses, which are currently classified as in the game. You must be a real genius since you could tell me right away why you needed this. I really couldn't, even though I'm in grave danger. Uh, they totally check all my correspondence. You work for the evil corporation, how is that even possible? We have all been stressed lately, thanks to you. Alex literally suspects every single one of us is helping you. Dave is inside the game right now as well, and if he finds you, then we're done. What do you get from this? Why are you helping me? I want to stop this. My friends are turning this game into something it shouldn't be. Shut the fuck up. It started a long time ago, but I can't let them keep doing this. Alright, but I still don't understand what my role in all of this is. You just don't remember it. You already know that you used to be the first in the game rating. They've started to limit your abilities, but once you suspected that something was wrong, you decide to, you decide to immerse yourself into the system and rewrite the code. That was your plan, at least that's how I understand, understood it. 
You're able to find your way around all the limitations they even create a very powerful version of yourself as a maze. This is madness, so now as it turns out I have to do three things. Kill Ashley, who is currently controlling you. Huh? What? But she's Ashley! What are you talking about? Hacking a terminal though so that Sarah can get in a lower level. Lua well. And enter the code, great. That's right, once you eliminate all Ashley... Sorry, once you eliminate Ashley, you get rid of the last version of yourself. Are you going to control her? Not right away, you added very strong barriers to your code, I'll be able to hack through it right away. You'll be all alone for a little bit, you think you can do this? What are you talking about? But you already ha- I was able to do this before. You can be caught at least five times if told for me. Just letting you know. Oh, thank you very much. Let's get moving now. Time is running out. By the way, I love it on how these idiots, they don't seem to realize. Amnesia, that's not how it works. Because coding is all about knowledge, right? It's not muscle. You don't have muscle. Like, here's the thing. If an art artist has amnesia, the way the brain is wired, especially with muscle memory, they can still be an artist. Same thing with a musician. They might not know how to read the notes on a piece of paper and they'll need to relearn that, but their muscle really helps. On the other hand, these, these fucking idiots of developers, they, they took coding. The one thing that is like all about having retention information and they're like, you have amnesia, but you're also a very good hacker. Let that sink in for a minute. I can do it all, says the tot. Walk to the end of the street. Can I? No, I can't. Is there an exit anywhere? Why? Why do they have a giant med kit if the hitbox to the med kit, the collision to getting it, is like right in the middle of it? Sir, are you in the system? Oh my god, what? Did you kidnap the sixth girl who makes artwork from DeviantArt and now. I'm sorry, is that a bulge in your pants? That was a stupid question, I thought she can hear me. I wonder if Hash is doing alright, can I really trust him? Why is this happening to me? I just took a break, is this game really that good? What made me want to rewrite the whole code of this thing? Is that the developer making fun of themselves? My question is, why did you publish the game? What did you accomplish with your life? Stop kidnapping Russian brides, man, and forcing them to do artwork for your shitty game. I, I suspect he has a basement full of just artists who are like starving you know they're just they're just guffawing about looking for food and developer like throws a couple of chicken slices occasionally hello dear how are you doing her name is eleanor what a nice pair of personality she has i'm eleanor i'm in number three are you ready i don't even want to know oh look at her she's crying with her cum tears isn't it obvious i can see that she's still not sure you don't you understand it by now to be honest with you, I feel like I'm the dumbest person in the universe right now. The developer made the so story so messy, they hurt themselves in confusion. It's not your fault where it is, but you shouldn't feel bad about it. They are programmed to be my therapist, something like that. You have to understand that this, is my, this little journey wasn't just about game, you, but your mental health as well. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Silent Hill. Do you even know what the year it is? Strange question. It's 2016, the developer's favorite year for America. But I'm asking because in this game, the future has already begun. The scary future where people eat, sleep, and use the bathroom with a gun in their pocket. What, they're afraid their shits might attack them? It'd be very sad if you take off your virtual reality helmet to find out that your real world looks like just this one. Please tell me this isn't so I'm begging you. Let's talk about what's happening now. Do you, why do you erase your own memory? Everyone thinks they know why already every single person has their own version. But why did you do it? Maybe because the game won't, wouldn't recognize me right away, I want to tell all myself some time before the game found out I was in the system. Turns out I made another version of myself, me here and me there, are two different people. The only thing they have in common is their motif, which I, I'm not sure about anymore. I like how one, one dialogue text... ...that, you know, should last for quite a while. It just immediately gets cut short for the sake of whatever the fuck this gameplay is. Well, you see, if my gun could shoot straight, I mean, I don't understand why my gun is not shooting straight, honestly. I, uh, how, how do I need to aim up? Oh, yeah, right, I forgot, because this is, like, literally a first-person blueprint that they repurposed for this camera view, which really doesn't work. This is why you either make the game from scratch or you find the correct blueprint. You don't simply pick whatever first-person blueprint you find. 
Uh, yeah, where am I going? I, I want to know how you're missing, honestly. How are you missing? I can't keep on aiming up like this. That doesn't make any sense. Not that this game in with Okay. <laughs> My dudes, what, what did you accomplish with this game, honestly? I mean, did you guys even make money with this game? And how much? Remember, submitting a game to Steam. Assuming they only submitted to stream, uh, like Steam. I'm pretty sure they sub submitted it elsewhere. Steam alone is a hundred bucks. Plus paying your employees, plus licensing the engine. Did you actually make money? Maybe there's a reason I can't remember anything anymore, because I never really existed. I'm just a reflection of someone else. I never had my own life or my own experience that I can rely on. Maybe I'm the fourth version, the one that meant to be serving. Elsa isn't my real name. It's the name of the person that sent me here. She made, she's a mad woman motivated by green, her green and anger. Oh, she's a vegetarian. I'm just here to do the dirty work for her. We are connected. If I die, she'll suffer the consequences. So my job is to make sure that she can get out of here safely. But I have a question now. What happens to me when all of this is over? The real Elsa will wake up and go on with her life. Well, my life will end. That's the whole reason I exist. Esther was right and I wasn't the reason she was upset. I'm not the one who has created her. Elsa will die if I take her memories. Huh? I'll steal a personality if I do that. But why, what, why do that if I will just be stuck living here in the world full of simulations? I'll just be another simulation. Okay. I don't know what the developer is trying to do with the story, but it's not as smart as they think it is. Why are you worried about it then? Should machines have feelings? Words of code like empathy. They have a job to do. It has to accomp accomplish. They shouldn't ask questions. Even when you think they're starting to feel things, in reality, they're just part of the code that's responsible for feeling or emotion. <sighs> it's not like people, you know, are, are organic codes just saying... My god. You're triggering these emotions and pretend to be something more than you really are. So am I really just a script? It's hard for me to accept that. You're not the fourth though, you're the first. You're supposed to get rid of the three of us in order to help us return to the game eventually. Uh, there's that. Take a lot of work. Something's wrong with this whole plan. What? You don't say! Right, I found what's three going on. I'll be able to stay on the right path. You thought about two, didn't you? About what? Uh, staying here. I like the, the continue with the story. Don't simply stop like that. That doesn't make it. I like how the story, the dialogue, like like you know how in movies, not that it should remind anyone of anything. This this entire game story is just like movies when yep, walking towards camera, my favorite thing. Mmm. There's a reason this type of gameplay start, died off in the 90s. But you know, eventually, uh, don't worry, eventually Russian game developers will one day discover and catch up to all the other world games and understand why walking towards camera is never a good option. After they stop stealing their Russian brides and putting them in the basement to make free artwork for them. Before I got absolutely destroyed by bad gameplay. A lie like that. By the way, I swear the soft particles switch themselves back on in the game, even though I disabled it. How are you shooting me from there? I mean, I have a limited amount of shots, you know, just saying. Okay, the guy... I mean, I don't even know why you give me 500 ammo when there's no 500 ammo to be had. That's a lot of random enemies like that I'm just randomly hitting. Anyways, before I got absolutely... Can I like have five seconds? Okay, thank you. You know how in, the, in movies, a character... Uh, you know, perfect example, The Witcher recently, you know, the show that everybody loves. You know how they do this annoying thing where it's like two characters say, we have to go. And, and then the other character is like, uh, where are we going? And they show them like riding a horse. And apparently six... I ran out of ammo. Like, like, my dude, I, I'm running out of ammo. Oh my god, how did you become so accurate at the distance? How are you getting triggered by me now? Anyways, just like in The Witcher, 
when characters are on horse and they travel for like two months to somewhere which apparently takes only a couple of hours to do you know and then the characters are like oh no we are going over here i'm gonna ask you a question and then the like like the guy or the girl doesn't get an answer to the question for like two months so basically what happened is the characters decide to go on a horse travel for two months somewhere except it took them a couple of hours and then one of the characters decide to answer the question two hours after once they reach their destination when the character asks the question at the start this is this entire game story someone says something they pause for the next 20 minutes to shoot something and then it's like yeah oh, by the way we're gonna continue the sentence now shut the fuck up man why would i do that i don't understand i don't understand my role in this madness i'll do what i have to do i can see things more clearly now that i know the truth what truth is that what you're going to do just obey the orders be a middleman woman middle woman middle person did the developer forget the genders of the characters be a middleman between the al the algorithm and the human seriously don't try to make me mad remember how this dialogue is going to end you're going to shoot me in the face can i really forget that of course not i'm just going to try buy some time people talk about anything moments before they die why do they do that what the developer was dying while making this game i hope they died what would you do nobody wants to die and when it's time all they left is saying a couple wise words to the world they'll never see again a des a deparat attempt to be a departed attempt to be remembered by others say something important dear developer please please shut the fuck up what you're saying isn't smart man the developer is shitting on people dying now they're like oh no you died you said a couple of things that's all left in the world famous people are remembered for their sayings before they died so shut the fuck up what are you gonna be remembered for while you're dying in your bolshevik little hut in the corner of nowhere that you made this shitty game or something else. If you and I are not people, then should we really be discussing this? No, but he says something very interesting. You might sound like people are just scripts as well, that they just don't understand that yet. She never said that. What the fuck are you talking about? You're too limited to something important. We're made for that. But you definitely stand a chance. You can make a difference. Just imagine a machine who has feelings. Is that really so amazing, especially in the world that's so determined to go see a shell Blade Runner? They have a whole culture around the, the theories of people interacting with such machines. Those are not theories, those are fucking movies, <laughs> oh my god. I'm not trying to leave here, I just, I'm, I will not take over a human's mind, I'm just a bunch of particles of, so, of someone's mind. Nothing more, you're trying to motivate me to do something very strange. Now let me do my job, I have to distract myself from these thoughts. By murdering those innocent NPCs, good luck, see you again. Trust me, this meeting was inevitable, but I doubt it's going to be you. We shall see. <sighs> I hope the developer's brain gets ticked over by their insult core 9. And overheats and they die in the fucking process. I did, I cancelled the protocol, you're part of the game now. You know that was just another version? Do you know that I'm not Elsa? Do you know I'm just a ref I'm number five. I'm supposed to admit the others so that they also can upgrade her fighting style. What? That's not at all what we talked about! Oh my god! Okay, you know what? There's gonna be a game theory out there where the real story is this. But just like the Joker, you know what is ironic about this game? The developer insulting the Joker. That uh, They're like, oh, who has a stupid name like that? The Joker, er. Uh. Uh, fun fact, the Joker always lies about their, their final objective and their, their, their origin stories. Sometimes about, about getting beaten, other times it's about his dad giving him the scars. The Joker basically lies, he doesn't tell what his final objective is and what his starting origins is. The developer hates the Joker apparently and made fun of it. Turns out, their story... They don't have an ending or a start. They don't know what they're fucking doing. All the irony. All the irony. I'm just a farm bot. More like a, more like a slut bot. Shut the fuck up, cat dildo. I'm doing all this boring work for her while she's busy living her life. What? Isn't she... Isn't she like in a coma with like the VR set on? What? She's... What the... <laughs>
Oh, wow. I guess this is where like a couple of the Russian brides in the developer's basement finally ran away. So the developer had to finish the rest of the game all by themselves. Do you know that? Answer me. No, I had no idea. I'm sorry. Do you know what else is? Uh, this is? Uh, do you know who you are? Please don't pressure me. It will not work. I'm not pressuring you. I'm trying to understand what exactly I'm dealing with here. I explain everything to you, Elsa. Try me, Hash. Is that you? And don't call me that. I don't know who the hell I am and what my name is. I don't even know if I really need a name. You're a code written by Elsa. You hear work through every possible scenario that can happen to her in this game. You are supposed to become an ultimate weapon, the keeper of this game. But well, then, when Elsa made it to the top of the chart and stayed there for two years, I reached out to her and asked her if she wanted to collaborate with me. She agreed. Then when it turned out that she was a talented programmer, I invited her to work on strengthening the system so that hackers or cheaters cannot harm the gameplay. And Elsa offered an original solution to create a universal soldier who would not block the player but will be woven into the gameplay. And even things like repelling a hacker attack looked like part of the game. Okay. By all means, stop the dialogue right exactly there. We will say everything out. We'll continue the dialogue five minutes after. Just like in the movies. When the characters say something and then we have to wait two months of them in a submarine. Where they can finally complete the sentence. I mean, why not simply... Okay. Can I just say something? If you're trying to go for the sex appeal, why don't you simply, like... Create a 2D side scroller games with the busty characters. I, I don't understand. Wouldn't that I'm sorry, did my character just casually jump by herself? We began to write to you, then other members of the team found out about it. They each had their own uh, reason to disapprove. They didn't like that the outside was allowed to take part in development. Alex wanted to be in control of everything, he even tried telling me that he was going to lay me off. He was forgetting their own 20% of the company. We split all the profits lately. Uh, but he was afraid that someone else was going to get their hands on his money. Huh? We split all the profits lately. A, you always split the profits. What do you mean lately? What, you guys weren't getting paid for like years? Uh, but he was afraid that someone else was going to get their hands on his money. That's not how it works. It goes directly to the bank. What? What could the developer possibly mean with this? Sunny talked into stopping us. Dave wrote some code that would recognize you as an intruder every time you joined the game. Every time you had to fight today it was his script doing his job. What was made Elsa create a couple more versions that were her way of backing you up in the system. Everything was going fine until you started to take over her memories. That wasn't something we could foresee. So is Elsa connected to the PC or not? Because if she isn't, then how do you have memories about her? Did, did the developer watch Free Guy and, and misunderstand the movie completely? How could you not foresee that? I don't like any of this. I want it to end. That's all. Just help me, please. That's what I'm trying to do right now, but you have to work together. Let us argue now. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. That's enough. I don't mean to be rude, but I can see a large group of enemies about five minutes south of here. Where are we going to do? That's Dave. He found us. Isn't it fun when a game doesn't have, like, any indication if you're going to the right location or not? It's so much fun. I always say that. I always say games, like, tell people too many things. You know, too much information, I always say. I always say this. Games should give the least amount of information possible to a player. That is annoying. You know? No, not like in Souls, like, you know, where you can still complete the game and, you know, do stuff. No. The least amount of information to waste time. That's that's the important part. You know, it's it's like it's like in, in Dark Souls. Imagine if the game didn't tell you how to parry. And then they make one single boss that is all about parrying. And then because you don't know how to parry, they're like, ha oh, ha, look at this loser, he doesn't know how to parry. Oh, oh you idiot, why didn't you just randomly press buttons? Derek! What how do you know? Huh? Wait, who's Derek? I mean, I... Did they even say the name Derek? Oh, look at her smiling like an old, old lady. Your real name? I just remembered it. Is also the only person that knows your real name. Is that... Ah, so hash. But why? Let me guess. I can remember the cafe. Nice, quite quite the evening. There's just two of you. You're talking about life. Your hands are shaking, but Elsa puts her hands in yours and tells you something with a smile. You smile back. You're in love with her. You're starting to remember recent events. Things are getting out of control. We had to finish the session and kick Elsa out of the game. Otherwise, I can't even imagine what's going to happen. Here's the thing. You don't care about the game. Oh, look at her cum tears. You just faltered. She manipulated you this whole time and you let her. No, don't say that's not impossible. That's not possible. Is this one of the developers who like literally hates women because his girlfriend broke up with him? I don't want to be the only one suffering from some hurtful truth. Uh, 
at this very moment she's leaving her mark in this game while using you was to do so but when she gets kicked the mark will start to swallow swallow the whole system no player will be able to join or leave and you helped her achieve this Derek. the whole thing claps because of you you're gonna tell me the future people on their vr sets they don't have like a fail safe system to disengage are you kidding me my dude if Windows 10 with Microsoft security service literally has, like, like people literally cannot cryptograph your hard drives anymore unless you really fuck up and disable stuff. Because, like, it has, it has, like, a manager layer process system that doesn't let you. You're gonna tell me the future VR systems don't have that. What a bunch of idiots. Even if you're right, I can let her suffer. She's in danger. That wouldn't be right. Oh, sorry, all my- I like how my rants are longer than the dialogue of this game. So technically I'm the reason this game is so long. Technically I'm doing the developer a favor! I'm very sorry for people's ears, nose and mouth and eyes, okay? Menu. I want to see oh, how many levels I did. I mean, who is even this dildo here? Who is she? Who is this? God damn. Let's go to the terminal then. I'll take care of Eleanor. Who's Eleanor now? Sarah will hack the system once more and you'll kick the lovely life. Maybe she's not that messed up yet and you'll be able to make her understand. I'm starting to remember very unpleasant things and Davey's right around the corner. Let's hurry. Someone's going to have a fun conversation when this is all over. You're Eleanor! Then why do you talk about her in third person? I'm not sorry about it now. I'll keep Dave away from you and go to Terminal. It's our last chance. It all depends on you. Yeah, that's how it was at the very beginning. Just don't let your colleagues, uh, college, colleagues, uh, co college, colleges, minions near me. They seem very annoying. That's what they're all about. It's a special version of them too. You use cheat codes to improve them. Nobody knows about it though. They don't cause imbalance in the game. Just lots of discomfort. Just like the giant... <laughs> just like the giant beads up your ass. Oh, by the way... Do you think, do you, do you think the developer was hoping so, for some male artwork? Or do you think they were just a horny fuck and they just kept the female artwork? And they decided to give them a bunch of male names. I mean, I mean, uh, the, you know, gender, gender stuff aside, it's pretty, pretty clear. It's like not a story reason, you know? It's not a story reason that like either a guy identifies as a girl or something. It's just for horny. Because, because in Russia, a woman cannot love a woman, you know? In Russia, you can't have female game developers love another female game developer. It has to be a man. If it's not a man, it's haram. I bet that's the reason they have, like, male names. And the implication is they're, like, guys that are just cosplaying as girls. God, what a bunch of losers these developers are. Remember, nobody, no matter what happens in your life, you never made a game like this. Don't feel ashamed of your choices. I don't know how some people can be like, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because you like to play with your ass. Or, I don't know, put peanut butter on your genitals and have your girlfriend lick it off you. Or boyfriend. You should feel ashamed of yourself, that's bad for children. I mean, you're not hurting anyone, you're just having fun, unlike this game developer, it's hurting my eyes! They should be the one going to prison! Everything is going well, I found the terminal, you'll be there in 10. I'll have to disconnect from Eleanor in order to uh, ability to fight her. Otherwise, the plan will not work. Things are looking so well to begin with. You're about to face Dave and his army. Trust me, they'll not have any issues there. I've learned a lot about getting out of shitty situations lately. This won't be especially hard, but that's the whole reason I'm here. It's supposed to have to disconnect now. We're close. Hang in a couple of minutes. Help me, Sarah. Yes, yeah, so just a moment. I'm looking for the safest and fastest route there. Let's go here. We'll save three months. Oh, sorry. Three minutes. Monuts. We'll save three minutes, three months with this shortcut. The terminal is close. Great news. My last battle. Is that for the player or is that one of the developers that they're happy the game is over? Good luck to you. Thank you. Get to the end of the house. Not even a unique environment. I'd like to apologize to the world. The, the thumbnail of this game tricked me. I thought it was going to be a different kind of game. I apologize, that's a lot. I mean, there isn't even music. I mean, let this sink in for a minute. The developers didn't have money for music in this game. I will join again. Look at you, what you've done, girlfriend. Must be crap to realize that your body was used by someone other than yourself. Derek, is that 
correct his name. All right, I want to know you with this boring talk. You made your choice. Seems like both of us are going to die now. Let's get out to the bank then. That's it. This is the end. I hope you can make it. I'm going to rest now. That was a very strange life. Game over. Huh? Huh? What? What are you talking about? What was that dialogue just now? I ha I like have to aim under the crosshair. But the best part is once the screen starts shaking and you lose the temp of your crosshair, you're pretty much done for. Well, Mel... Uh, what? Man, Mel Gear Solid has nothing on this game. Forget about the PMCs. You guys aren't even gonna try, like, come near... Is... Oh, first time open door! Oh my god, it's just an open door that takes you outside of the map, well, the edge of the map. Well, this is gonna be fun, huh? Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun, everyone? Going towards camera. Oh, look at that! Going towards camera and not having any space to shoot. Mmm, so much fun. Okay, this dot, that, those did not miss. Come on, we all know. They know, she knows, he knows. Come see, come so, we all know. On tout sait. Pas comme le développeur de ce game. Qui est un tabarnak. Un fils de putain. Un idiot. Il est un son de bitch. <laughs> I don't know many insults in French, actually. I mean, I know, but you know, typical French insults. Very heavily racist. They might work in the 90s, but not in the, in the current year. Oh my god, just die! I'm clearly shooting at you, goddamn cholos. Also, French insults are like, very, you know, very bleh. Very passé, ironically enough. You know, like, like, Middle Eastern... Middle Eastern insults are always the best. It, because even, even the most basic insult... ...is very heavy. Mostly because of the way it sounds. Like, for example, in the Middle East, if you call someone a dog... You know? It, it doesn't sound like much. Oh, they gave me ammo this time around, how nice! In the Middle East, it... Why is an old grandma attacking me? Am I hitting you? Am I hitting the wall? Am I hitting you? I honestly can't tell. Did I kill you or not? What was the happy sound for? Did, did I not kill you? Huh? What just happened? The game broke! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? The game doesn't have an ending scene? Oh my god. No. No way. This is... Oh my god. This is next level laziness I've ever seen. I mean, I don't know how you slid over some concrete, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, not concrete. Le concrete est ici. Je suis ici avec le concrete. Vous savez le concrete? No. Je ne sais pas le concrete. Il y a tous ces tabanacs qui ont shooté shooté à moi. Allez, foutez voir. See, this is actually a very good game because it's teaching you like when you when you kill enemies on a certain barricade, you should go left and right to the other barricades. So I'm just shooting an old grandma, huh? have an ending screen you have to be joking oh wow cyber grandma is dead and i can't finish the game the developer didn't put in a check for the last boss to die <laughs> oh my god and apparently if you restart i mean i don't know if you guys can hear my mouse i'm clicking 
I'm clicking and it's... Well, G to the G. Thank you so much, Cyber Bitch Girls. Are you sure to quit? Yeah. Wow, now I've seen everything. Well, not I mean, I always say that, but you know what I mean. I have definitely seen a lot in my life, uh, including this game. Uh, well, g to the G. Thank you so much, uh, Cyberpunk Girls. Let's see what's in the resources. Not that there is anything in the resources, honestly. I'm very surprised this game is even able to run. Mesh. Let's see the lovely, lovely assets that they bought. The PMCs from Metal Beer Bullet. Oh, look, a Cyberwoman. Oh, look at her. Oh, you see her face and everything. By the way, you know what is the best part about this? Oh, Cyberbots. Oh, sexy bots. You know what is the best part about all of this? Rich female? We're fighting a rich female. Ah, high polygon guns that you could barely see. What is this? As a dread. Dead, dead zub. Texture 2D time. 2K of what? Oh my god, just 2K of a flat texture. Ah, they did it this way. Ah, oh, the perfect women. Just jiggly. What a terrible game this was, honestly. I mean, I, I just don't understand. By the way, um, in, your, in case you're wondering, yeah, this is what you think it is. The thing in the background, well, not buy and sell. Whatever, this whatever, uh, but this whatever. But these three, they're like Unity. They're literally showing their programming in the game. I don't know why, why developers do this. It never looks good unless you know what you're doing. Also, I want to know where they stole this from. Like, where did they even take the screenshots from? Oh, our titular heroine. Clearly just like the developers when they're doing heroin. Pleasure time bot. N35, Sin Cola. Visual texture filtering. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are the developers trying to show me what anisotropic filtering is? If it is, my question is to what? Oh, I guess this is the asset they used. Did someone censor my sewers? <laughs> what? Is this a Japanese sewer? I love these. I love them. You can tell these are from a game. I just wish I could know which game this is from. It looks very sexy. Yeah, honestly, this game should just have been a side-scroller game with 2D artwork. Whoever was the girls that they kept in their basement, telling them that they eventually have a good life, they should just have let them free, honestly. And uh, made their very game, maybe. Oh yeah, how big is the game? The game is uh, 300 megabytes, which shouldn't be offensive, but considering it's the same map over again, it is actually offensive. I can't tell, I can't say, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do miss the other zombie girl game. So Girl is a brutal action shooter set in the year 2169. Very funny number. Apparently, someone's security, the future got worse. Uh, the steel of the future, which has become a safe haven for thugs, hackers. I uh, like how even the thing here, like, completely collapses on itself. No, I don't want to see reviews. Positive! You know what? Fuck the Steam reviews. I'm so happy. Uh, what's it called? Epic Game Store doesn't have them. Because they're actually pretty trash, honestly. Oh my god, they stole the font from Cyberpunk as well? Meet Elsa. She topped the chart for the longest time until recent circumstances revealed the shocking truth. Fail. Brutal action. Yeah, because you can't see what you're doing. Brutal combat. Because you can't see what you're doing. Story-driven action. It's a visual novel. Hidden. Cyberpunk inspired aesthetics. That's not a new thing. Exceptional soundtrack. Huh? Oh my god! Are you kidding me?
exceptional soundtrack. Soundtrack that is broken. You have... Wow. I played this game in silence. Although it's better. It was a better experience, not gonna lie. You know why? Oh, look, and ties. Mmm, my waifu in sex prison 18. Sex with Hitler. This game is related to sex with Hitler? <laughs> you know, this is a good game when literally it's advertising you can have sex with Hitler. I mean, who am I to say no to sex with Hitler? They finally cut out what pissed me off and left the best part of the game. Huh? What are you talking about? Also, I like how he says exceptional soundtrack. I mean, it isn't. It's literally the Caribbean mu uh, punk music in the game. Cool shooter with cool girls. It's a lot of fun to play. SM, you know, I'm just saying, I mean... Can you not procreate, please? L levels, nice graphics in general. Recommend the fans to the genre. What are you talking about? Oh, this guy's a Bitcoin miner. You can tell by their high level with all the gold in the background. They think of themselves hot shit. Good game, great puzzles. Huh? What puzzles? Good graphics. Relaxing music. Did you accidentally review the wrong game? Cyberpunk Girls is a fun and colorful shooter that won't leave anyone indifferent. Fun game with nice graphics and nice girls. Where is the nice graphics coming from? Stimulus? Benjamin Franklin says, Very interesting game with excellent graphics. Are these bot accounts? This is a lot of... Cyberpunk Girls is a fast-paced shooter with a story and beautiful girl. Let's go another good 18 plus game in my collection. What? It's not an 18 game. There was no sex in it. Romantic Room. The developer's name is Romantic Room? Am I missing something? What about the updates of the game? Oh, the game didn't receive any updates. So I'm literally the only one who noticed the bug because nobody else played the game. Aha, finally, my fellow Russian. Okay. Wow, this says a lot, huh? I like how the Russian people are turning on the game. Chinese, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but <laughs> thank you China and Russia for... for <laughs> China and Russia actually know shit when they see it. Oh my god, why all the re English reviews good about this game? Okay, I'm just gonna say this. The Steam reviews are the worst thing in the world. I don't know how people can wish uh, Epic Store Games has it. A good dating sim that takes place in the future. What? Interesting game. Beautiful pictures. Uncomplicated gameplay with pictures. Really nice for the... What dating sim? It's not a dating sim. Action gunfight girls in progressive out... Girls in progressive outfits? <laughs> progressive? What progressive? Sh sh what? You call this progressive? Dialogue. Oh, uh, dialogue. This guy, this guy's giving this game a thumbs up. Because of dialogue. <laughs> wow. Oh no, Canada! Oh no, Canadians! Uh, Chef the Smurf, Canada. Wolverine! Why are so many Canadians simping for this game? Desire, Ludwig Richer, 11Y. Oh, 11Y, good for you. Although it's not a dating sim, is it? Out of Cyber Fun by Zook Sucks. Yeah, you suck, man. Rainbow Dash. Another shooting game with a view from above. It doesn't matter what happens. You take the gun and the fun started. Nice music and beautiful inserts. Are you winning, Samurai? Shut the fuck up. Beautiful girls. Nice music. Beautiful girls. Interesting. Very interesting cheat. Cyberpunk Girls is a very interesting cheater <laughs> with good art. What the future will look? I like this game for its simplicity and its idea of what the future will look like. I advise you to play it. What? What can I say about this $2 game? It's not $2, it's 8 Canadian! When I was younger, my junior high, I got... Okay, there's a whole story here. Hold on, let me read. When I was younger, maybe junior high, I got roped into watching a three-month-old niece while my sister got her hair done. So when I well, th so there I am sitting in the waiting area of the hair salon with my niece, and she walk and walks in Keanu Reeves. Oh, it's a meme, cyberpunk style. 
The game is constantly on pace and also not bad looking characters. Vlad Gromov. What bad? All the characters were drawn by different people. Let's go. The best game with girls. There's no other game with girls? These are the type of people. These are the type of people who will literally say a female character that doesn't look like a fucking harlot is ugly. God forbid you have a normal looking woman. All languages. Yeah, I want to see all languages. China. Russia. China maybe or Japan even. Korean I think this is. Okay, these have to be... They're either hardcore simps or or they have to be bot accounts. Like, like you know, accounts that you pay money overall in the Steam community. So they review game... So like, I, any email contact for press situation. What? The fuck with these bot paid reviews? Yeah, thank you, Volka Boltage! There you... You see? Someone else that likes cat girls licking each other. Mwah! Finally, someone! I, I like how I like how the real people, you know, who like do actual reviews. Well, not reviews, they actually do have real comments. Are always the ones with the low Steam level account. It's always the high ones, you know, that like shit all over the place. Fanboy reviews. I think it's simp brain damage reviews. Sexual content. Where's the 18 plus content like the other games? It doesn't have it, was planning to buy it otherwise. People were a mistake. <laughs> Why did the leader of Canada rate this positive? I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're done where we'll get Justin Trudeau soon enough. This is our, our hole in the hole. Uh, it's, it's seven in the US as well. Well, what a sad day this is. Wow. Wow. I mean... <laughs> oh boy. Wow! Wow! What a what a game! Uh, wow! What a game! Um, you know, I think I think this is the reason people should honestly. I I think having the community groups or discussion, uh, should be a thing for the Unreal Store, Epic Game Store to have. I think that is important, but I don't think reviews are needed because this happens. Like this got a positive man, like. Okay, I like how every single girl looks different. Like, they were hidden by a different baseball bat. <laughs> Anyways. On that note, after giving up on society, uh, nighty night. Sleepy tight, guys. Have a nice week. I'm out, out, out.